Hey, peace and blessings. Mm -mm -mm. I'm back. Ha! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss the monologues? That's more importantly. Did you miss the monologues? Her, please, her. Did you miss the monologues? <laughs> What's going on? I am ecstatic to be back on camera. I haven't done this for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month or so. Last week was my birthday. Last week, Monday. Happy birthday to me. And, um, yeah, I didn't do it last Monday. And I wanted to because I had a relaxed birthday, but I just got so relaxed. I was like, they ain't asking for it, right? Yeah, I didn't ask you for it, so uh, I just relax. But um, I've missed y'all. I've missed doing this. And here I am. I'm back. And um, the background is different, even though you can't really see where I am. But I'm currently visiting New York, my other home, for the holidays. But the show must go on. I'm back. I'm feeling this, right? I'm missing this, and I loved it. So here I am. Here I am. The monologue today I took from a movie called Romeo Must Die. And I had the pleasure to meeting of meeting Aaliyah. Rest in peace to the beautiful Aaliyah. Um, and the character name is Trisha Day. And in this particular monologue, she's talking about her brother being killed and a little prank that they used to play on. Well, they played with the mom. And you'll hear the rest. You'll hear the rest. Okay, so this is Romeo Must Die, Trish O'Day. You know, once Colin and I did something we thought would be really funny. He hid out front while I ran to tell my mom he'd been hurt, you know? Hit by a car or something. Really bad like that. And when she came running, he was supposed to jump out and surprise her. And we'll fall out and have this great big laugh. Me and mom always loved. <laughs> Good laugh. I was about eight or nine, and Kala was like 11. I don't even remember how we came up with it, but sure enough, you know, I'd start screaming and, and, and yelling, and mom comes running out of the house, and she's like, Trish, what's wrong? And when I told her, I mean, the look on her face, I mean, even when Colin popped out to show it was just a joke, she couldn't stop crying. She just held him close, clutched him, you know? I was just a baby. I didn't get it then. But I get it now. Colin's dead and no matter how hard I cry he's just not gonna pop up and show me it was a joke Romeo must die. Well, I like that one. That one was a little tearjerker, as you see. And it's just like the yin and the yang, talking about the memories of the brother having fun and ironically him pretending to be dead and them laughing about it. And now he's actually dead. He's not coming back. So I think this is a good monologue for anyone that child show like a, a little bit of a contrast, not only that emotion without being too over the top. So I hope you liked it. Mm -mm -mm. Subscribe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Comment. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know, people. This is just what I love. Embrace it. Embrace me. Thank you for watching. And I promise, God willing, if I'm here Monday next week, all right? Monologue Mondays has concluded. <laughs> Have a great week, people. One love.